Today we are diving into the hands-on review of the Google Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL. Google promises that these phones are packed with features designed to enhance your mobile experience whether it's through their, it's through their impressive AI capabilities, top tier camera systems or sleek double designs they claim to solve the problems of battery life performance and photo bands, and photography that many of us face with our current devices so it seems these two devices have it all but which one should you choose well let's dive into detailed comparison of these two smartphones and see which one is best for your needs and style and if you find this video helpful please help out the channel by giving it a like and subscribing let's start off with the price because it's always one of the first things on everyone's mind Google has bumped up the prices again with the Pixel 9 Pro starting at $999 and the Pixel 9 Pro XL at $1099 that's another $100 hike for a phone with the same screen size as last year's Pixel 8 Pro model. As we all have seen Pixels have undercut the competition by offering flagship features at AIA. More accessible price point. So this price increase feels like a bit of a misstep but the Pixel 9 Pro XL justifies its higher price tag with a larger display and a bit more screen real estate making it the better choice for those who want the full flagship experience. When it comes to design the Pixels continue to stand out with their distinct look but there are a few changes worth noting. The most noticeable is the redesigned camera bar on the back of both phones instead of the edge to edge design of previous models. We now have an elongated peel shape protrusion I've gotten used to handling the Pixel 9 Pro XL size. But the smaller Pixel 9 Pro is a refreshing change. The designs are eerily similar to the iPhone 14 Pro series thanks to the polished metal trims that are now flat rather than contoured. I am a bit torn on this change since the contoured edges of the Pixel 8 Pro made it more comfortable to hold but the matte glass surfaces remains to give that always clean and smooth look. Google claims they are twice as durable as the Pixel 8 generation with Corning Gorilla Glass Victors 2 protecting the screens. Moving on to the display quality this is where Google has made some significant strides. The introduction of actual displays in the Pixel 8 line lineup was a big deal in the last year and this year Google has taken it up a notch with the super actor displays in the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL. These displays are 35% brighter and boasting peak brightness of 2700 nits given that the Pixel 8 Pro realistically peaked at around 1526 nits. I'd be thrilled if these new models exceed 1600 1600 nits in benchmark testing. Now let's dive into the cameras which are always a highlight of the Pixel series. Google has done something impressive here by giving both the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL the same camera setup. Both comes with the 50 maps main camera, 48 maps ultra wide and 48 maps telephoto EX optical zoom. This is particularly noteworthy because many flagship pairs like the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max have different zoom levels. So it's nice to see that Google isn't short changing the smaller Pixel 9 Pro. Both phones also feature upgraded 42 megapixels front facing cameras with autofocus and based on. My early cell phones they look noticeably better than the ones I took with my Pixel 8 Pro. Performance is where the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL have the most to prove last year's models underperformed against rivals like Apple's 15 Pro and Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip so all eyes are on the Tensor G4 chip this time around both models come with 16 GB of RAM which not only improves multitasking but also boosts AI performance I was impressed by how quickly the new Pixel Studio generator created custom images in just 4 seconds Google claims that Tensor G4 is 20% faster at web browsing and 177% faster at launching apps my early impressions are positive with both phones feeling buttery smooth in everyday tasks like running apps and navigating the interface but the benchmark tests will ultimately tell us how well the Tensor G4 stacks up against the competition. Until then both phones deliver snappy performance but the Pixel 9 Pro XL with its slightly larger size and better cooling might edge out the smaller Pixel 9 Pro in intensive tasks. 
Moving on to the battery life, the Pixel 9 Pro XL sporting a 5060mAh battery. It's slightly better than the Pixel 8 Pro's 5050mAh battery. But the battery life will largely depend on the power efficiency of the Tensor G4 chip. The Pixel 8 Pro fell behind its rivals in battery tests. So there's pressure on the new Pixels to perform better. Google claims a 20% improvement in battery life which should help close the gap but we'll have to see how it holds up in real world use the smaller pixel 9 pro with its 4700 mAh battery might struggle more especially if you're a heavy user on the bright side google has updated the charging speeds to 45 watts it isn't up from last year's sluggish 30 watts so at least you'll be able to juice up faster between the two phones the pixel 9 pro xl is likely the better choice if battery life is a top priority for you finally let's talk about software and a features the pixel 9 pro and 9 pro xl are packed with new a features thanks to google gemini the virtual assistant that handles everything on the phone from pulling details from a photo you take to managing your emails Google Gemini is more helpful than ever the AI features don't stop there the add new feature magic editor and reimagine feature are just a few examples of how these phones are taking AI assisted photo editing to the next level also we can't forget the new pixel studio which generates images based on your descriptions this is another cool feature that no other phone currently offers out of the box as for my final verdict, Google has set a high bar with the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL, but the price hike for the larger larger model might be a tough pill to swallow for some whether the $100 increase is justified by the new A features remains to be seen, but it's clear that Google has made a significant improvements across the board. I have to give them credit for not skimping on the smaller Pixel 9 Pro, which offers the same camera setup and many of the same features as the more expensive model. Please share your thoughts about this phone in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will catch you in the next one.